mailbag and it's a proper mailbag this time yeah i think five items also uh yeah anyway i didn't plan to make a mailbag video today i wanted to continue with a review of the uh yeah, in famous O1 P4305 lab power supply. Uh, yesterday, it was Sunday the 16th of January, I uh, did a torture video, or basically not a torture video. I tortured the display of that thing and the thing itself because I wanted to uh, recreate a failure of the display and I couldn't recreate it. Today, I wanted to uh, yeah, continue with the review, do some more measurements and tests and promptly as I switched it on and yeah, it's connected. Yeah, display dead as a dodo again. I, I, I don't get it. Uh, anyway, I make a separate uh, two, three minute video about that. Um, yeah, part three of the review, uh, display finally dead. Uh, but now, for our viewing leisure, uh, let's dig in. If the packaging looks Chinese to you, that's probably because it comes from China. Uh, as so many disappointments lately, <clears throat> even if it was chipped from within, but that was just the logistics company who repackaged it or relabeled it after it arrived in the container. Uh, no. I need to apply force here. And it's... Uh, packaging material, that's always good. And it's... Oh! Haha! <laughs> Little chips from China, a uh, whole lot of them, more than I ordered. Uh, just a second. I'm pretty sure I only ordered five. These are nine, but what are they? And they are on semiconductor MC14490Ps. Uh, that is the single one here is a PG, little outlier. Um, yeah, this is basically, or supposed to be, we'll see, new old stock. Okay, the MC14490 is not an obsolete chip in it itself. You can still get them new from the usual distributors, but only in SMD packages. If you want through hole packages, you have to order, yeah, new old stock. And uh, yeah, by the way, these are six channel hardware debouncing chips containing everything to debounce six switches. Yeah, just add one capacitor and uh, yeah, they have everything built in from pull up resistors to the debouncing circuitry. So I did indeed order 10 pieces, but you saw yourself, yeah, as my witnesses, I only received nine. Okay, uh, let's jump to the listing then. And here's the listing, yeah, no surprises here. Uh, two or 10 pieces, I ordered 10 pieces, uh, MC14490. Uh, yeah, all the different variations. From Top Electronic 1980 for US dollar, US dollar price 698 or yeah, what I paid Euro 577. And yeah, shipping a little less than two bucks from China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, wherever. Next, something from a German seller, as it seems. Uh, Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, yeah, a CD and ah, <laughs> that's an RS two three two two USB converter, or the other way around. Yeah, depends. I mean, it's a 
bidirectional data connection. And I bought that to <laughs> initially <laughs> for the uh, review of the <laughs> over on lab power supply. Uh, yeah, to connect the serial interface of that O1. So yeah, I can show you the software that comes with it, uh, or I can at least download. I can't, uh, I mentioned that in the review. Can't find the CD anymore. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, yeah, we'll find some use for it at some time, I guess. <laughs> One more thing about it. Uh, I didn't see that at first, but uh, there is really nothing in here. Yeah, that's the backside of the PCB, the converter PCB, and it's a blobbed chip. Yeah, I don't even see a capacitor in there. Oh, yeah, maybe here, that black thingy. So one chip does it all, okay. So level translation between 5 volt USB and the 12 volt RS232 and everything else just there under a blob of plastic. And here's a listing for the uh, USB to RS232 serial converter cable PC Mac Win Linux Raspberry Pi whatever uh yeah from morsi 2003 for 625 and yeah free delivery in germany we'll see how that thing works then i've got here a letter from maxim samples no commercial value <laughs> Okay, uh, let me grab inside. Uh, yeah, put that out of the way. And we have here something else in there, just to make sure. Nope, it's empty otherwise. Uh, yeah. Thanks for choosing Maxim Integrated. Achieve faster results. How nice. And that's some original Max31855K K thermocouple K type to SPI bus converters. And yeah, this is close to attention. Sensitive device. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I get it out of the bag and then we zoom in again. Yeah, engineering samples. You might remember that little Chinese Max 31855K breakout board uh, that I got and that didn't work as expected. Yeah, and the internet wisdom for that was it probably contains a fake chip. So, uh, by the way, uh, card and link in the description to that video. Uh, but now I have uh, original Maxim engineering samples of that chip. So we can compare the markings and we can compare the functionality and those determine is it really fake chips on these little breakout bolts or maybe there's a design flaw with these breakout bolts. Yeah. We'll find out. And there is no <laughs> listing for that. And uh, no, not everybody can simply order samples from Maxim. You need at least yeah, a company address or something like that. We're down to the big envelope slash boxes. Let's see what's in here. No paper? Oh, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Forget about the day gaming here and uh, concentrate on the DAC Pro. So this is a TRRS to USB converter. And uh, if the reviews didn't lie to me, 
it should be a good one. And I think I got it from Amazon. Um, anyway, there will be a proper unboxing and test of that thing. I got that Sharkoon Gaming Deck Pro SV2 from Amazon and uh, directly from the Sharkoon store. I guess uh, it is Sharkoon who's selling there on Amazon. And it's, a, yeah, here on that listing, the Gaming Deck SV2. There's also an older Gaming Deck who is obviously no longer available. It was still available when I ordered, but yeah. Uh, twenty nine ninety nine, uh, including shipping or with free shipping. Yeah, free shipping. We'll have a look at that thing too, in detail, with unboxing, everything. The biggest box at the very end. Huh. Yeah, I know what it is because <clears throat> it says here music store. And of course, it doesn't have <laughs> to be used to make music. And uh, yeah. <sighs> another label make. Yeah, and this time it's the Shore. MBL clip on microphone and yeah we will do a proper unboxing and test about that too i mean i'm currently uh using the road here and there was a yeah detailed review on card link about that one and it's not bad but it's really really sensitive to static so yeah if it's really dry the air is really dry or i'm wearing the wrong clothes or i'm not probably <laughs> properly earthed then yeah you hear a from time to time and um, you probably don't notice it what but when i'm cutting the videos uh, it's uh, yeah gets on my nerves okay uh, so I put that back on my label somewhere and yeah uh, there are two versions of this uh, this one is the old packaging for I think 50 euro we will see in the listing in a second um, there's a new packaging available or something that's uh, 70 euros I have no idea I got that Lavalier microphone from Music Store and uh, yeah, uh, www.musicstore.com. They have an international website uh, everywhere. Yeah, uh, everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but uh, Europe and uh, United Kingdom, which is no longer political Europe nowadays, uh, and US, so no problem there. It costs about uh, 50 euros, and yeah, that's ooh, uh, dollars down, uh, $60, and you can pay with PayPal, and yeah, we have a review about that thing too. The usual group picture of everything in this mailbag, and yeah, before I leave you, <laughs> Another look at the old one. Still dead as a dodo. <laughs> the display that is, <laughs> not the rest. <laughs> and with that I say bye.